Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be going through Neptune in the second house. So this video is for you if you have this placement. If you're a cross watcher, welcome as well. Very excited to be getting into this video. Neptune does deal with the illusions. So whatever area you guys have Neptune in your particular natal chart, you might not see this area clearly. You guys might go more into the crown chakra in terms of that particular house. So you guys might want to escape from it. So the second house deals with your personal finances. It also deals with your values and your belief systems. So the area that you guys might not be seeing clearly in your lives could be this area, the area of money, the area of personal finances, the area of your own self-worth even. Interestingly enough, I'm wearing yellow earrings today, completely unplanned, but it can deal with your solar plexus chakra. So you guys might struggle with this throughout your life, especially when it comes to money and personal finances. There's always going to be something that you guys don't see clearly. Now, a few things can take place. Maybe when you guys were younger, things kind of just worked out for you. They kind of just aligned for you. So you guys kind of have this belief system now where it's like, oh, the universe will take care of it. Oh, I'll have abundance. You guys might find yourselves daydreaming or escaping into the crown chakra, into the mind, into the imagination. When it comes to your personal finances, dreaming about receiving large amounts of money and maybe playing the lottery and winning large amounts of money, things like this. It's a tricky placement to have because Neptune does deal with the spiritual realms, the unseen realms. And it's true, if you do visualize it in your mind, it might actually come through. But what I will say is you always need to pair action along with the idea. So if you're not putting in the action to actually receive those funds most likely these large amounts that you guys dream of might not necessarily just fall into your lap on their own you guys might get smaller amounts you guys might find ten dollars on the ground and things like this like you might notice that these are themes and patterns throughout your life but you guys might fall once again into that daydreaming energy where it's like oh my god i have all this money and i'm a millionaire i'm not here to burst your bubble doesn't mean that won't happen all i'm saying is you have to pair action along with prayer that's kind of how the energetics of things work behind the scenes however if you have neptune in the second house you're probably going Going to notice yourself daydreaming more so about this rather than actually putting it into action sometimes when you have this particular placement you guys could even be the types that maybe don't look at your bank accounts you guys go off and overspend you overestimate how much money you have or you can even underestimate how much money you have there's an energy here where it's like there's almost like an avoidance sometimes this happens with the 12th house i've noticed the 12th house neptunian piscean energy where it's like it can go into an avoidance this type of energy doesn't necessarily like being on this earth plane they want to be in the high vibes in the imagination and the mind and the psychic realms where everything Everything is easier and the higher vibrations it does work like this you know you do think it and it does happen however on this earth plane it doesn't necessarily work that way we do have to work for certain things that we receive you have to put in the action once again the action to receive whatever it is that you guys are trying to manifest so with that being said since the second house does deal with your values and it deals with your self-worth you guys could have illusions in this area as well where you guys might not feel worthy to receive things even worthy to receive money sometimes actually what can happen with this placement is you guys can be very good at artistic endeavors creating art of some sort art is on a huge range it can be painting it can be pottery it can be music it can be dance it can be so many different things and because you guys are so good at this it comes to you naturally maybe there's an aspect of you guys that either undervalues yourselves undervalues your gift or maybe you guys even want to give it away for free now what i will say at the end of the day unfortunately we are still living in a capitalistic society so if you have something to offer and it's something that's specifically tailored to you definitely don't undervalue yourself and maybe figure out what is the comfortable amount to charge for these things because that Piscean Neptunian energy is very much overgiving. So you guys might fall into this energy as well where you guys maybe are even in the healing world and you guys have healing services or anything to do with these spiritual metaphysical realms. You guys could be very gifted in this area and it's like maybe you guys give away your gifts for free and at the end of the day everything is an energy exchange. So it's like if you are not receiving the amount that you feel like you deserve, you are going to feel drained. So it's going to take a while maybe to figure out what that number is for you guys. So there's always something here going on with the belief system surrounding money and your self-worth and receiving it so you guys are basically going to have to work on this actively okay where you have neptune in your natal chart what i'm going to say is you might have to actively work in that particular area because the house that you have it in in that area you guys could be escaping escaping avoiding not wanting to deal with it you guys can go through situations where you don't want to deal with your finances or you guys can go through situations where it's like you guys might not want to make money because you can go into the escapism where it's like money is not real these types of belief systems that again at the end of the day in one way shape or form are absolutely true but while we are on the earth plane we are bound to certain rules there is a certain way that this plane operates it is very materialistic it is very much about money so it's going to take a little bit more work for you guys to actively actually go after your money your belief systems around money because something that can also happen with this placement because they're very much in like a you know the universe has my back always type of vibe you guys can fall into situations 
situations where there's someone that's either funding you guys or you guys might go maybe to family members to ask money if there's something here okay there's something here that happens maybe in the earlier part of your life where you guys develop an unhealthy relationship with money maybe you guys grew up in a home where there was a huge focus on money and material things and now you guys want to escape from that maybe you guys want to rebel against that and you go completely into the crown and like completely disconnect from this particular world or something that could have also taken place is maybe money was weaponized within the home so again you have a negative relationship with money sometimes what i've noticed recently that can happen is like sometimes subconsciously what we're doing is like we're trying to rebel against our parents whether we're aware of it or not so it's like maybe in this area subconsciously you guys are trying to rebel against the parent who maybe had a huge focus on money maybe pressured you guys when it came to money or maybe they were petty when it came to money maybe there was scarcity something that's not clear that's the whole thing here something that was not clear when it came to personal finances maybe not internally you guys can have this resistance when it comes to money and personal finances you go into the crown you start to escape you start to avoid these types of things now what i will also say for this placement is you guys can go into things like overspending there's always going to be an extreme energy the second house does bounce off of the eighth house which is scorpionic energy scorpio can very much go into extremes where it's like you're either overspending or not spending at all so you guys can also go into this energy where it's like you guys are overspending or maybe you guys might find yourselves overindulging maybe you're not in a position to overindulge or maybe you guys can fall into gambling it's something to watch out for as well because you guys can feel like oh it's just going to come oh okay I can multiply this that cloud that's the thing the Neptune energy wherever you have it in your natal chart it clouds and blurs this area and it's interesting because it's like if we were all collectively at the higher vibration where we could be but down here on this earth plane there's a lot of resistance there's a lot of density and a lot of belief systems that we all have to work through to actually get to that point until you get there you guys can find yourselves in a lot of these challenging situations when it comes to money where it's like overestimating or maybe even overindulging when it comes to material things buying things that you guys can't necessarily afford once again thinking you know the whole conversation that they have especially in like the law of attraction community where they're like oh if you live that life it'll manifest and it's like that's true to a certain extent but then it's also not because once again there's things that we all have to work through to actually continuously perpetuate the law of attraction that's a different video for a different day i actually have a video on the law of attraction if you guys are interested in watching it it's called the law of attraction doesn't work unless you do and maybe constantly having an anxiety also when it comes to money once again because you're kind of like it's gonna come it's gonna come it's gonna come and it's like when you're in that state and you're constantly thinking about it you're actually energetically pushing it away rather than kind of just fully surrendering and allowing it to come so there is a potential here i would say to achieve that level maybe that you guys dream of and the amounts that you guys dream of but i will say there's gonna have to be a lot of work surrounding belief systems when it comes to money and actually putting in work that's the whole thing here actually putting in some kind of work or some kind of action and really getting that ball energetically rolling because the thing is if you have money coming in you're always going to have the money coming in but if you're in a place where it's like you don't have anything coming in no form of income nothing and you're kind of like oh it's just gonna fall into my lap well in that situation it might be a little bit more challenging because it's like at the end of the day maybe you still have things that you have to pay for bills all these types of things those are the earthly things that neptune doesn't necessarily like they don't necessarily enjoy so you're going to have to pay extra attention when it comes to this area because otherwise if you're in that state where there's nothing coming in and you're kind of like oh it's gonna work out well you can fall into anxiety and then energetically push it away i hope you guys are following but that's kind of what's happening energetically behind the scenes so there's always going to be a focus on money and personal finances for the neptune and the second house percent really take time to learn about finances overall financial literacy investments these types of things because it's definitely going to help you guys to be more grounded in this particular area whereas neptune pulls you out of body and creates a fog it creates an illusion it creates this area to be a little bit more challenging so with all of that being said i'm going to wrap up this video here on neptune in the second house i do hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did please do like share and subscribe and i hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day.